tests. Good morning and welcome to this hearing, this hearing of the City Council Transportation Committee. I need Dennis Rodriguez, the chair of this committee. First, let me recognize my colleagues who are here with us today. Councilmember Cabrera, Dodge, Espinal, Ku, Menchaca, Salamanca, Diaz, and Richards. Today we will be voting on two bills and a resolution relating to the air train shutdown. Starting April 2019, there will be no L train service between Brooklyn and Manhattan for 15 months, and the city needs to be prepared. I'm proud to be co sponsor of the two bills, both introduced together with Speaker Corey Johnson. The first, proposed intro 989 A, will require the Department of Transportation, in coordination with the MTA, to designate at least one community information center in each of, Manha of the Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Brooklyn during the L train shutdown. These community information centers will provide resources and information to members of the public regarding the reconstruction and the city and the MTA's alternative transportation options. The second build is proposed Intro 990-A, which will require the Department of Transportation 
to have an ombudsperson for the length of the L train shut down. This ombudsperson will be tasked with receiving and investigating complaints and comments in connection with shut the shutdown and would give the public clarity in knowing where to turn with their concerns during the 15 month shutdown. We will also be voting on resolution number 377 introduced by my colleague, Council Member Rafael Espinal, urging the governor and the MTA to commit to quickly transition to an electric bus fleet and to use electric buses as a robust part of the replacement plan during the upcoming L train shutdown. I would I also like to recognize Council Member Constantinide. I would like to thank Speaker Johnson for his support and leadership on these bills. I now call for the vote on proposed intros 989-A and 990-A and resolution 377. I recommend a yes vote and I ask the committee clerk to please call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on transportation. Items are coupled. Chair Rodriguez. Aye. Cabrera. Aye. Constantinidis. Aye. Deutsch. Espinel. Permission to explain my vote? I first and foremost want to thank the chair, Donis Rodriguez, for uh, br uh, bringing this resolution uh, that's part of of this vote, uh, I want to highlight that this resolution uh, I introduced uh, over a year ago, working with the Sierra Club, um, to to highlight an important issue when it comes to the L train shutdown. Yes, the train is being shut down, but we have to make sure that we use that opportunity to introduce greener transportation options. Uh, the MTA currently plans on purchasing 200 diesel fueled buses and place them in some, in some of the neighborhoods that have the worst air quality that the city has to offer, and that's North Brooklyn and Lower Manhattan. I think now, more than ever, it's important that we address the issues of air quality, climate change, and transitioning to an electric bus fleet is the right way forward. Yes, they've committed to purchasing 10 buses and starting a pilot program, but this is a pilot program that's gonna go on for three years uh, while the L-Train shuts down in a few months from today. So 200 diesel buses is not uh, the best way to move forward. We have to make sure that there's a robust plan to introduce electric buses in this opportunity. Other cities, other countries have done it, uh, and it's time for us to get with the times and making sure we're doing our part. And we have to remember that the reason the L-Train is being shut down is because of Hurricane Sandy, a hurricane that we look back on and can, and can point to climate change as being the reason uh, that that occurred here in New York City. So uh, we must uh, urge the governor, urge uh, the MTA, that now more than ever, we have to make this transition. Thank you. Ku. I will aye. Menchaca. Aye. Richards. Aye. Salamanca. Aye. Diaz. By a vote of 10 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. So with that, I, we conclude this hearing, and I would like to encourage everyone to be uh, ready for our second MTA training station tour we were looking to have on October 3rd and 4th, our second one. And uh, again, in this, in this October, we're looking to go around through the same train station that we did last year and, and compare how services have been improved. With that, this hearing is adjourned.